In this video let's see how oxygen was discovered. Air had historically been known to be required for both animal respiration and for combustion. Joseph Priestley analyzed the properties of air using the famous experiment. He used an inverted container on a raised platform. He showed that the flame went out when placed in the inverted container. And also, the mouse would die due to lack of air. But when he put a green plant in the jar and exposing it to the sunlight, it would refresh the air inside the jar, making the flame to burn longer and mouse to breathe longer. On August 1, 1774, Joseph Priestley conducted his most famous experiment. He kept a lump of reddish mercuric oxide inside an inverted glass container. When he focused the sunlight on the mercuric oxide using a lens, it burnt and released a gas. This gas made a flame to burn intensely and kept a mouse alive about four times as long as a similar quantity of air. Priestley called his discovery deflogisticated air. Priestley further wrote, The feeling of it in my lungs was not sensibly different from that of common air, but I fancied that my breast felt peculiarly light and easy for some time afterwards. Who can tell but that in time, this pure air may become a fashionable article in luxury. Hitherto only two mice and myself have had the privilege of breathing it. But wait, this gas was isolated a year before itself by a Swedish chemist by the name, Carl Wilhelm Scheele. Since he did not publish until 1777, the discovery of oxygen was credited to Joseph Priestley. Actually, the term oxygen was named by French chemist Antoine Lavoisier, meaning acid maker. This is the very short history of discovery of oxygen. Hope the video was helpful. See you soon in the next video.